Hello everyone, great to see you again. We are getting super, super close to the Pokemon Go Kanto Tour event. Now, as you probably know, this event is loaded with things to think about, things to prepare for, and things to focus on. But today we are simply going to go over our legendary raid bosses and their counters. So I wanna help send you into that event fully prepared to get all of the birds and your Mewtwo. So let's go. Now, if you do need more information on the Kanto Tour event, I'm going to put a link to a video just up at the top as well as down in the description. This video is only gonna focus on the raid bosses for the event. Okay, so before we even start going over the counters, if you're watching this right when it's posted, you have a little bit of time to start gathering Pokecoins to get yourself some raid passes for this event. Also make sure to check out the one coin bundles that are going to be appearing in the game leading up to the event because there are a few free remote raid passes included in those. Now remember, we all wanna to try to stay safe and we wanna to try to play this event from home as much as we possibly can. But leading up to it, go out there, be safe, and drop your Pokemon off in gyms, get those coins. Another thing to note leading up to this event is that if you've been playing Pokemon Go for the past few months, you should have Pokemon right now that are going to be super helpful in raiding our legendary bosses. If you participated in the December Community Day, hopefully you have a ton of Pokemon that have exclusive moves now. And if you've been playing the regional events that have been taking place the past few weeks, you also should have even further beefy Pokemon with exclusive moves. So this event is absolutely going to be the best for those of us that have been playing actively the past few months. That being said, let's get into this. So first we will start with Articuno, our legendary bird. So for Articuno, we've got our regular and our beautiful light blue shiny. I'm still after this one. So if you're looking for that Hundo Articuno, you're gonna wanna look out for 1743 in regular conditions and then 2179 weather boosted by wind or snow. Now, Articuno is going to be double weak to rock. So this is easy peasy. We just want rock Pokemon with rock type moves. Your top tier Pokemon to use against Articuno are going to be Rampardos, Rhyperior, Terrakion, Tyranitar, Omastar, Gigalith. Now on those Pokemon, you're going to want fast rock moves, especially Smackdown. So we just had our Tyranitar event where we could get Smackdown on Tyranitar. So hopefully you found a good Tyranitar with Smackdown. Max that boy out, let's bring that in for this event. And then for charge attacks, of course, you're gonna wanna use moves like Rock Slide, Rock Wrecker, and Stone Edge. Additionally, you can also bring in some beefy fire type Pokemon, especially if they have rock moves. So Pokemon like Heatran or Darmanitan are gonna do pretty good against this boss as well. Just make sure to load them up with some rock moves. Next up, we've got our fire legendary bird, Moltres. So here for Moltres, we have our regular and then our pink chicken shiny. So for the hundo, you're gonna wanna look out for 1980 in regular conditions and 2475 for weather boosted, sunny and windy on this one. Now, luckily Moltres is also double weak to rock. So the Pokemon are gonna be really, really similar to what you wanna use for Articuno. But just to go over it again, we wanna use Pokemon like Rampardos, Rhyperior, Tyranitar, Terrakian, Omastar, Gigalith. And you're gonna want those same sets of moves. Lead with your beefy rocks. Again, Smackdown, Rock Slide, Rock Wrecker, and Stone Edge. Now for Moltres, you can also bring in some beefy water types like Blastoise, Swampert, or Kyogre but make sure to focus on rocks first. And now our third legendary bird, which is our electric Zapdos. And for Zapdos, here is our regular. Now remember this one doesn't look very different in its shiny form. So really you gotta be sharp. Look for those sparkles. So for the hundo, you're gonna wanna look out for 2015 and then weather boosted by rain or wind, look out for 2519. So Zapdos is a little bit less straightforward than Articuno and Moltres. You're still, of course, gonna wanna incorporate rock moves, but Zapdos is also going to have a weakness to ice. So in addition to Pokemon like Rhyperior, you're also gonna wanna include Kyurem, Mamoswine, and then further rock type Pokemon, again, like Terrakion, Gigalith, Tyranitar, Rimpardos. And then in this one, you can also include other ice type Pokemon, less beefy ones like Glaceon, Weavile, and we should all have a lot of really good Weaviles right now after the Sneasel event we just had. But additionally, you can use ice type moves like Powder Snow, Blizzard, and Avalanche. And finally, the Pokemon everyone has been waiting to return to legendary raids. That's right, Mewtwo. So here we've got our regular Mewtwo and then the wonderful, beautiful green and white shiny. 
So for Mewtwo's Hundo, look out for 2387 and then 2984 boosted by windy weather. So for Mewtwo, if you've been playing all the way back through October of this past year, now is going to be a great time to bring in all of your spooky season Pokemon. That's right, Mewtwo is going to be weak to dark, ghost, and bug type Pokemon. So the main attackers you're going to want to focus on are going to be Giratina, Chandelure, Gengar, Hydreigon, Tyranitar. Additionally, you can also bring in a fellow Mewtwo with Psycho Cut and Shadow Ball. Speaking of Shadow Ball, Shadow Ball is the main move that you're going to want your Pokemon to have going into this. Also look out for Mons with Shadow Claw and Hex. Those ghost type moves are going to work really well against Mewtwo. And next up, you're going to want to incorporate in dark type moves. So for fast attacks, you're going to want Bite and Snarl and charged attacks like Dark Pulse and Crunch. Now a pro tip here is to keep your eye on your Tyranitars because Tyranitars are going to be really useful through this whole event. But for Mewtwo, you're going to want Tyranitars with dark type moves. For all the rest, you're going to want Tyranitars with rock type moves. So make sure you label your Tyranitars because they're going to do really, really well through this whole event. But again, make sure the move sets are correct. And finally, as always, if you have any of these solid attackers against any of these Pokemon, if they can be mega or if they are shadow type, those are going to do better against your bosses than if they were normal type, especially if those Megas or Shadows have significantly higher CP or IVs. So always consider Shadows and Megas first. I know those are really costly, so it's fine if you don't have those, but they will do a little bit more damage than your regular Mons. All right, everyone, so just a quick video to help you get prepared for those raids. I know we're all really looking forward to those legendary birds and especially Mewtwo. So Pokemon Go has been building us up for this event. And at this point, like I said earlier, we should all have really strong Pokemon going into this. The only thing we need is raid passes. So again, keep your eye on those bundles, put your Pokemon in gyms, and if you have the means to, spend a little bit of money on remote raid passes because it's gonna be really, really worth it for this event specifically. So good luck to all of you for the Kanto tour in these raids. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if this is your first time on the channel and you enjoyed this and you wanna see more just like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, let me know with a like or a comment down below. Who are you most excited for? What Pokemon do you really wanna catch? Do you still need shiny Mewtwo? If so, I hope you get all the legendary shinies. So have an excellent day and I will catch y'all in the next video.